I'm going to show you exactly how I make all of the thumbnails for my YouTube channel. And it's a pretty simple process. It takes time to get better and better, but this is my exact workflow and it's pretty straightforward. You don't have to be super techie. Like I said, it just takes a little bit of practice. So for the website I use to make my thumbnails is canva.com. Now Canva has a free version and they do have a paid version. I am on the paid version. I think it's like $10 a month, but you do get a lot of uh, cool features and other graphics, but you can definitely use the free version for this. So I'm going to show you exactly how I created this thumbnail. And you can see I do variations of thumbnails just because I take thumbnails super, super seriously and you should too to grow your YouTube channel. But I'm going to show you exactly how I made this thumbnail, which essentially was uh, for this video right here. Uh, from depression to $8 million, my story. So in order to make that thumbnail, we're going to start with a, uh, clean slate. So you can't see anything. So the first thing, uh, that you notice here is a big clear image of myself. So that's what you're going to have to start with and get that clear image. Um, I'll teach you how to get such a clear photo and a well-lit photo with minimal gear. Um, you could do this with an iPhone. This was actually taken on an iPhone, believe it or not. So what I like to do is come over to my uploads, right? You obviously bring in the uh, clear image. So you can see this was the original image that I took with my iPhone and it turned into this. Now, how do we get from that to that? Uh, so once you upload the image into Canva, they have this uh, feature called background remover. You click it and it does all the work. It's absolutely amazing. It saves you a lot of time than going with an eraser and doing all that kind of crud any day now. Okay. So you can see it clearly removed the background. So we'll make this a little smaller, make this a little smaller. So you can see we're well on our way to that photo. I'll zoom out a little bit. So now we want to properly size it. The thing with YouTube thumbnails that you need to know is they have to be uh, very, very clear. You don't want to overcomplicate them and you want the message to come across super, super simple. So we'll just put myself pretty big because that is the message I want to convey. It's like, hey, it's me, right? I overcame depression and made a million dollars, whatever, made $10 million, whatever it was. So now we got to work on a background, right? So you can come into elements here on Canva and basically type in anything. So you could type in blue sky and it'll give you a blue sky, right? I'm going to actually try another variation of this thumbnail. Maybe I'll actually use it. So what you do is you click on the image and you click, uh, you can click set images background. Now you always want to have your background blurry because you don't want to take it away. You don't want to take away from the main image, which is yourself. So you can click on that background image. You can click edit image and then here where you click see all you can, you can actually adjust the blur. See, so I made it a little bit blurry so you can tell it's a sky, but not really. I'll make myself a little bit bigger, right? Making thumbnails is all about adjustments. You're going to constantly be tweaking and seeing what looks good, what doesn't. That's why I always make variations. You can see this is a completely different picture, completely different background. So we'll try this background just for an example. Now the next element is text. So you can see uh, it has a nice little uh, text bar here where they actually give you some pre-made uh, texts with your own fonts. I find simple is better for me, right? You always you got to kind of pick a style. If you come into my channel, relatively, I have a style with more or less the same fonts, right? So I come over back to Canva and I click text and I like to just start with a regular uh, text font, which you could do here. Once you find a text you like, you can always just copy it and then paste it in. But for example purposes, I'll show you how I get it to look like this. So you can see the font is open sauce semi. So we'll come in here. We'll change the font to open sauce semi bold. We'll change the color to yellow. And then we'll add that little shadow effect that looks super cool. So if you click on this here, you can see it has an effect and this is what it looks like. So it's a shadow effect and it's got some other stuff going. So we'll do a shadow effect 
it's got some offsets it's got some blur uh the shadow is gonna be black let's just click on this transparency is all the way up and blur is at 42 so transparency all the way up blur is at 42 and the offset is up a little bit so the offset is up a little bit there you go and then I had the text actually in bold. There we go, it looks a lot better. And then we'll just type in eight, eight million. So now we just made the text that we wanted and then we'll put it all the way in the back. So we'll make this bigger. And then I will adjust it. And then I will send it backward boom perfect make it a little higher so you can see that M a little bit better make it a little bit bigger there you go and then we have this one so it's basically the same font just smaller so what I'll do is I'll copy and then paste that and then I'll put $15 whoops $15 will make it smaller and then we'll change it to white, just so it stands out a little bit more. Boom. And then we'll add in this little arrow. So we'll go to elements, and then you can type in arrow. And you can see, basically all of these are free. So on Canva, this is free. The ones with these little crowns, Pro, that's where you upgrade. Uh, but again, most of the stuff I use is completely free. So I'll go ahead and throw in this little arrow, turn it, there so we go fifteen dollars to eight million we'll make it a little smaller boom so you can see the elements of this uh thumbnail it's very very simple it's very clear i actually almost like this one a little bit better because that background is a little bit uh busy now you can see here um i edited the colors and stuff on this one so here you can click on edit I edited the colors of my face. So you can click edit, you can adjust the brightness, you can adjust the saturation. Uh, clarity is the other one that I'd use just to make it, you can see it kind of sharpens that image. You don't want to over edit it, you still want to make it look a little bit realistic. So that just looks a little bit better. I pop a little bit more. Now, this is something else that I like to do is add this shadow around me. Uh, it makes you pop off the background a little bit more. For some reason, my Canva is little messed up, I don't know why, but check this out. Whenever I do shadows, it removes the coloring of my photo, so I have to take an extra step. I've used three other people's Canva and they don't do this, only mine does. But essentially what I like to do is use the glow and then you can make it bigger, you can make it a little bit more transparent so it really stands out and then you can blur it a little bit just to give you that nice little outline so you pop off the background. And there you go that's the basics of a thumbnail and you want the thumbnail to clearly convey your message and do it as simple as possible so i just want to show you some other examples right so um i've been testing out some new features but basically look is tesla worth the hype and i have a little shocked emoji or a shocked word and i'm in the uh the tesla um it's gonna take you practice i'm gonna show you some of my oldest videos that the thumbnails were very very bad as you can see these are really really bad thumbnails all of these are just absolutely terrible but as you go you get better see this one was a little bit better this one was a little bit better this one was a little bit better and you can see i'm starting to get a little bit better these are still pretty bad this one's a little bit better started working in that shadow feature I recently just updated this one simply and, and easily. Uh, this one was a little bit better. This one I just updated. This one is, I think, when I started getting a lot better. I started learning, hey, let's make that face the main image. Um, these are a little bit better, a little complicated, but still you can see the progression of how much better it's getting. This one, very simple, very easy. This was a popular thumbnail style. Um, but you can see it's starting to get a lot better. Images are a lot clearer. 
text is nice, big, and bold. They're a lot simpler for the most part. The simpler you can make the thumbnail while still conveying your message, the better it's gonna be. So I asked Shopify millionaires for business advice. I'm asking this girl, clearly she makes 900K. Shocking, right? Um, here, why you should quit your job. This is conveying that I quit my job, I'm done. So this, again, the simpler you can convey your message, the better it's that thumbnail is gonna perform. And you can see, now I, I would say my thumbnails are getting pretty, pretty good. But that is the process of how I make my thumbnail. Just keep practicing if you're um, not great in the beginning. I promise you it'll get a lot better as you go. It's taken me over a year to get really, really good at this.